Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer, and let's talk some mountain weather. A lot to talk about with this atmospheric river plowing through California with uh, a lot of heavy rain and snow. I actually blogged about it this morning, uh, looked at kind of the snowfall patterns for the next few days because this storm system will move out of California and now will be moving into Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, and Colorado. And so I just went into and just talked to some of the details on that. If you haven't subscribed to this blog, please do so on ChrisTomer.com. Um, generally, I've been really trying to make more um, just cool graphs, ways to explain the data so you can get a very quick overview. Um, this does it by day, how much snow I'm expecting at different ski areas across the West. I've got big plans for the, this stuff in the future, so please subscribe if you haven't uh, already at this point. So jumping into this uh, Mammoth Mountain right here, you know, the big problem over the last couple of days has been snow level. The snow levels have been really high, and that is a that is a normal problem with atmospheric river pineapple express setups. It's just it's there's so much moisture coming off the Pacific. You're just grabbing all that warmth, and you're just there's never really a chance to pull the temperature down enough. So we're finally just now seeing snow at the base here of Mammoth. Snow levels have been very high throughout this. They started at like nine, ten, and they kind of stuck there for a long time, and they finally have started to come down to six, seven, eight thousand feet. But that's the way it looks at. Uh, at Mammoth uh, Mountain right now. I want to show you the radar satellite. So again, this rich feed with this this river, uh, it will be moving out of California, and now you can already see it's it's hitting Sun Valley. Uh, it's on its way towards Jackson Hole and the Tetons. It's on its way towards the Wasatch and in Colorado. Interesting note on the northern end of this that 943 metal bar marking I put right there. So the 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 actual low is up in the Pacific Northwest. That's cycling all this through. It actually tied a record low pressure yesterday in the Pacific Northwest for that region. So, I mean, this storm has definitely got some strength to it. So let's time this out. That's the view at 5 p.m. today. Watch the moisture rolling through the, through the Wasatch, the Tetons, and approaching Colorado overnight into tomorrow morning. Notice in the Pacific Northwest, there's another low moving into that area. There's more moisture that is hitting the Pacific Northwest in Northern California as well. Okay, so that's Tuesday at 5 a.m. By the time we roll through Tuesday afternoon, the snow is in Colorado. You've got some leftover snow on the backside through the Tetons and the Wasatch. You've still got moisture hitting Whistler, Blackcomb. Some of that, most of it will probably stay in British Columbia. Some of it will sail over towards Alberta um, and Banff and some of those surrounding spots. Um, by the time we get into Wednesday morning, um, leftover snow in Colorado. There's still some snow on the backside, that little northwest flow coming through the Tetons. So there's still some additional accumulations there and maybe even in northern Utah. Certainly some additional accumulations through parts of Idaho, western Montana. And then I think by the end of this week, there's a little better chance of accumulating moderate snows up there uh, through parts of uh, Banff. Um, but you, you can see there's some blue up there in parts of B.C., so that's the way it shakes out as far as timing goes. As far as accumulations go between probably noon today and then all the way out into Wednesday morning, um, again, the storm is moving out of California, so we're really only looking at some leftover snows, some lighter snows through Tahoe, maybe another foot in Mammoth as this, uh, as this low pulls away. And uh, by the time it moves into Utah, um, we're talking about some pretty significant snows tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. About 17 inches or so, Alta, Park City, Snowbird, Brighton, Solitude, even Brian Head getting in on the action with a little over a foot, Kings Peak. Jackson Hole, 15, 16 inches, Big Sky will be there as well. In Colorado, Tuesday, mainly Tuesday, we're going to accumulate this snow. So totals by Wednesday, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 inches, a little more over Silverton. And then look back to the Pacific Northwest, one to two feet up there over Rainier, Baker, and up to Whistler, B.C. Lighter amounts as you go into the interior. But I, again, as I was saying, I think we'll see better numbers there by the end of this week and into the weekend. All right, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.